Wind energy technicians spend most of their time up in the clouds. You got that harness on, you know, that's all you have faith in. Suspended 400 feet off the ground can be a risky job. If you slip or fall, or you, you know, you're just like, well, I hope this holds, or I hope nothing tears, or I hope the hard hat stays on. So why are so many Americans going to school to become wind technicians? I thought it would be a good opportunity to get out there and learn something new and, you know, be paid well for doing it and traveling and getting to see different places and meet new people. Cloud County Community College student Alan Weeson got laid off from his welding job and was ready for a career change. He's chosen a job in high demand. Pay starts at around $20 an hour. We really uh, enjoy the fact that we get people from you know, high school graduates all the way up to you know, middle-aged folks who are looking to change careers. Uh, and they may already have a lot of the technical skills um, and, and they want to come here and basically get kind of retooled or re-educated to enter a, a new emerging workforce. Much of that workforce is enrolled at Cloud County where you can make a career in clean renewable energy. Students at Cloud County are enrolled in either a one-year certificate program or a two-year associate's degree program. And they're trained on how to maneuver around the office, commissioning new turbines and maintaining old ones. Also, learning about a tower rescue in case something were to happen 27 stories up. At a basic core level, uh, a person really needs to know how to climb and, and how to climb safely. Life saving education for a workforce that's made the U.S. the world's largest harvester of wind energy. In Concordia, Josh Haskell, KSN News.